Russia. Go home now. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. With profound humble gratitude and love to all venerated enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by their divine grace. Part 4 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Nasi te predavanje predlagat mnogo jezici. Mole vište suprememastertv.com na kolona črta schedule. In the old times, like the old, old times, for example, in China, the kings with spiritual persons, spiritual masters, like King Yao, Shun, they were masters. And they took care of the people, which is like their own children. And the people at that time, they didn't even need to lock the door. They didn't pay taxes to the king. They didn't need to do anything for the king at all. That's the way it should be. Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan, the embodiment of Jesus' teaching. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English and Arabic with subtitles in Arabic, Olasis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. مشاهدين الرائعين، سررنا بانضمامكم لبرنامج اليوم. اسمي ماهر. الشعب اللبناني المضياف يقدر المثال الإيجابي الذي توفروه لعائلاتكم والأصدقاء كتذكر لشكر الله على نعمكم التي لا تعد ولا تحصى. يقع لبنان على الجانب الغربي من القارة الآسيوية ويحده البحر الأبيض المتوسط وسوريا وإسرائيل ينعم هذا البلد الصغير بمجموعة مذهلة من الميزات الطبيعية من ساحل البحر الأبيض المتوسط إلى قمم الجبال الثلجية التي تزين من حضراتها غابات عطرية من السرب والعرعر والبلوط يعود تاريخ الحفاظ على الطبيعة في المنطقة إلى عهد الإمبراطور الروماني هدريان الذي حددت نقوشه الحجرية حدود الغابات بغرض حمايتها يوجد في لبنان اليوم أكثر من 15 محمية طبيعية ومنطقة حفظ يتضمن الإرث الثقافي للأمة تاريخا روحيا ودينيا بارزا دخلت بعلبك قائمة موقع التراث العالمي لليونسكو وكانت في يوم من الأيام وجهة لآلاف الحجاج القادبين لعبادة الله معابدها الضخمة يحتوي وادي لبنان المقدس وهو موقع آخر من مواقع التراث العالمي لليونسكو على العديد من الأديرة المسيحية المبكرة الواقعة في التلال التي تعد موطنا لغابة أرز الرب هذا النبات المهيب 
دائم الخضرة هو الرمز الوطني للبنان وقد ساهم بعضها بإضفاء وجود مقدس لمئات السنين يواصل لبنان اليوم إظهار التسامح تجاه جميع الخلفيات والثقافات الأرض موطن للمسلمين والمسيحيين من بينهم الدروس والبوذيين والهندوس الذين يعيشون في وئام مع سعدنا بتعريفكم على لبنان الساحة مشاهدين الكرام عسى أن تشعروا دائما بالرابط الروحي مع الله على مدى أكثر من ثلاثة عقود من فكت المعلمة السامية تشينغهاي فيغان تنير درب عالمنا من خلال تعاليمها الإلهية كمعلم حقيقي تمنح المعلمة طريقة الكوانين في التأمل لأولئك التواقين لاكتشاف طبيعة الله داخلها وتحقيق تحرر الأزلي من دوامة الحياة والموت طريقة لكوانين مورست من قبل سائر المعلمين المستنيرين أمثال أكرم الخلق شياكاموني بوذا نباتي والكريم ابن الله يسوع المسيح والمعلم المبجل والفيلسوف كونفوشيوس نباتي والرب المبجل كريشنا نباتي والمعلم المبجل والفيلسوف لاوتسو نباتي والرب المبجل مهافيرا فيغان والنبي الحبيب محمد نباتي صلى الله عليه وسلم وسراي جورو ناناك ديف جي نباتي وغيرهم الكثير تؤكد المعلمة السامية تشينغ هاي فيغان أنه بذكرنا الحثيث لله والتضحية من أجل الآخرين وعدم انتهاك القوانين الكونية فنصل لأعلى مرتبة يمكن أن يبلغها بشر وندرك الهدف من وجودنا على هذه الأرض المعلمة السامية تشينغ هاي هي مثال حي واستثناء للرحم فهي بدافع من محبتها تقوم بانتظام بتقديم المساعدات العينية والمالية للاجئين والمشردين والمتضررين من الكوارث الطبيعية وسواهم ممن يحتاجون للغوث المعلمة السامية تشينغ هاي فيغان أشكر وبكل احترام الأفراد والمنظمات القادة والحكومات على دعمكم الحقيقي والمحب والمستمر ليبارككم الإله للأبد نحن أعضاء الرابطة الدولية للمعلمة السامية تشينغ هاي أيضا ممتنون بصدق للطفكم المعبر متمنين لكم الأرض المعلمة السامية تشينغ هاي نباتي تتلقى المحبة والتقدير من مختلف المنظمات ووسائل الإعلام والحكومات والأفراد والعديد من الجوائز كجائزة جوسي للسلام وهي تضاهي جائزة نوبل للسلام في الشرق جائزة قيادة العالم الروحي عام 1994 جائزة مهافير عام 2008 يومي 22 فبراير و25 أكتوبر أعلن كلاهما أنهما يوم المعلمة السامية تشينغهاي المواطنة الفخرية من الولايات المتحدة وما إلى ذلك وقد كرمت على مر السنين بمنحها العديد من الجوائز وأوسمة الشرف تقديرا لأعمالها الخيرية والإنسانية المتميزة
إلى آخره نعتذر لعدم القدرة على عرض العديد من الجوائز والتكريمات الأخرى لضيق المكان والزمان المعلمة الثامية تشينغ هاي فيغان أشكر وبكل احترام الأفراد والمنظمات القادة والحكومات على دعمكم الحقيقي والمحب والمستمر ليبارككم الإله للأبد نحن أعضاء الرابطة الدولية للمعلمة السامية تشينغ هاي أيضا ممتنون بصدق لدطفكم المعبر متمنين لكم الله صوت حقيقي يدافع عن أصدقائنا الحيوانات الجميلة تشجع المعلمة السامية تشينغ هاي نباتي على إتباع النظام الغذائي النباتي المفعم بالمحبة والسلام الذي من شأنه إيقاظ الوعي الإنساني بمدى قدسية الحياة بكافة أشكاله وصولا إلى عالم مجيد تعمه النباتية ويسوده التناغم حيث الأفراد من كل من مملكتي الإنسان والحيوان يعيشون في وئام تضمنت مبادراتها توزيع نشرة العيش البديل سلسلة المطاعم النباتية العالمية Loving Hut والشركات النباتية ومنتجات الفراء النباتي وقناة سوبريم ماستر تي في بالإضافة إلى مكالمة الحكومات وكبريات وسائل الإعلام والمشاركة في مؤتمرات عبر دائرة تلفزيونية مغلقة بشأن تغير المناخ. علمنا بذلك أم لم نعلم أن لجهودها تأثير هائل على الوعي العالمي فيما يخص الأحسان لأمة الحيوانات وكيف أن نمط الحياة هذا يمكن أن يحقق السلام الدائم بين الدول إضافة لإنقاذ كوكبنا من آثار تغير المناخ الكارثية على مر السنين جابت المعلمة الثامية هاي نبات العالم وألقت مئات المحاضرات أمام الجمهور وتلاميذها متناولة باقة متنوعة من الموضوعات الروحية اليوم يسعدنا أن نقدم لكم أحد هذه اللقاءات والمؤتمر ثاقب البصيرة بعنوان الوعي على الصحوة الروحية الجزء 11 من 14 ضمن سلسلة بين المعلمة والتلاميذ محاضرة ألقيت باللغة الإنجليزية يوم 8 يناير 2006 في سوري بالمملكة المتحدة Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine now Russia just go home Anything else we should talk about? Want to tell me something? Anything? No? Okay. Hmm? <laughs> Men, you are heroes. You don't know that. Yeah. My sister living in Chicago. Yes. She's in a, a small mm-hmm. vegan restaurant. Mm-hmm. She and my mom and dad live together. All disciples help each other. Mm-hmm. And uh, they donate some money. Mm-hmm. Disciples mm-hmm. get together, donate some money, help each other, mm-hmm. and make a lunch box. Mm-hmm. Vegan lunchbox, and there's a small sticker, a master's picture, mm-hmm. and some good sentence. Why mm-hmm. vegan lunch? Something. Yeah. And we donate five times a month. To whom? To the homeless people. Ah, okay. And then uh, once a month, they go and serve the food themselves. Uh huh. And in America, actually, lower income people, they really difficult to eat the fresh vegetable. Uh huh. They usually eat meat and junk food. Ah, oh, funny. And then so many people happy with the fresh vegetarian yeah. food. Yeah. And then the disciples also feel very happy mm. and they make regular work instead of meditate whole day every mm-hmm. day they also meditate but they go out and mm-hmm. action doing yeah. something for yeah. outside people nice so good so it's cool mm. it's maybe. cool yeah the pamlet must say also why vegan state the facts quick short simple yeah it's okay too we have so many plans but <laughs> everything comes slowly Even dog people's house comes slowly. <laughs> Some technical design, you know, has to has to change or something like that. 
And we're trying to make a vegan booth in every airport we can. So you all can join if you want to do that. Yeah. Instead of in the market, you can do it in the airport. Simple vegan food, you know, fries, simple noodle, fried rice or whatever, or soup. You can eat quick, you know. Uh, simple, yeah. Simple, quick vegan food, yeah. I don't know how far they have gone already, <laughs> but I told them long ago, you know, when we start doing that. Because a lot of people go through airports. Even if they don't eat vegetarian, maybe they want to eat that day. And then they will think about it. Yeah. And I want that every vegan meal should have a leaflet. It's simple, you know, not an expensive leaflet or anything. Just give it to them and say the reason why vegan. Yeah? Simple, quick, short. That's what you do. Yeah? Then people not only eat, but they realize what they're doing. Saving the planet. Being a hero. Hmm? I think an airport is a place where... Regardless if you're a vegetarian or not, it's some, uh, you will eat anything because you tend to be hungry there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, they'll, I think, find yeah. out otherwise that actually vegetarian is tasty than... Yes. Then they, yeah, and then, then they, they like would, it. Yeah, then they yes. like it. Yes. And okay. they would never... Even vegan spring rolls are exotic and everybody loves them. Yeah. Yeah. And so easy, prepare all day and then just leave it there, fry quick, or fry a little bit, and over there fry the whole thing. Yeah, very easy. You can even deep freeze it and then take it out, fry quick, you know. Already half fried, and then deep freeze and then fry. It's very simple. Or soup or anything tasty. Or fry noodle, you know, things like that. It's because I discovered that many airports, because I traveled a lot before, I just realized that they really don't have any vegetarian in the airport. You have little choice, but just not much, you know. Okay, you have a pizza vegetarian, one out of five. <laughs> and that's all you have, you know. Uh, spaghetti with tomato sauce. <laughs> and sometimes it's not even true, because they cook with animal people meat, and sometimes you can find a piece of meat in it. Oh, yeah. Or uh, shrimp or something, it makes you vomit sometimes. Yeah, there's a vegetarian, fine, but they cook and then they forget and some sh piece of shrimp or chicken or some drop into your salad and oh, sometimes I vomit on the spot. You know, just to smell it and to see it, I feel the suffering of the animal person. It's horrible. So we're doing that, huh? Mm. I don't know how far they have gone. Well, I haven't checked up with them long time, but they already gave me some recipe. I said, no, try again, these are not too good. <laughs> And of course, you have to go through bureaucracy to get it, you know. It might not be that quick, but we're doing it. We will. <laughs> one by one, wherever, whichever airport is available, we do it. And come to the next, maybe next and next and next. Yeah, keep trying. Airports are more international and more people, and they need it more. Because vegetarian people, at least, they go through airports and have nothing much to eat. Yeah? We can make vegan pack away, we can make ready to eat, or anything, but it has to have protein and vegetables in it. So it's like a complete meal in one. Every dish, even the soup must have already tofu or gluten in it, you know? So if they eat it, they don't have to eat another thing because they're full already, but it's all just water and that's no... <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, my God, even you, yesterday or the day before I looked, there was no protein in it, just vegetables. My God. Yeah, not okay. <laughs> Not everybody likes nuts. We're not birth people. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day we find a good farm somewhere, and you know, then you stay together, cook good things, hmm? plant vegetables. <laughs> Are you right? You want to water? You did drink already? Yeah, you should have one. You know, sometimes it's dry. Yeah. As me, I talk a lot. <laughs> My saliva, I don't produce enough, so... Wow, today we talked about all the mundane stuff. <laughs> Government and tax and... Yeah, they all related together, you know? Yeah, if you are a good spiritual person and really pure and really want to change the world and you want to go out there, like be a senator or maybe a president or something, <laughs> I think very difficult. I say, oh, ambitious, you know, political and all that. <laughs> and you really just want to help in a better way. Understand me? That's, it's not that easy, is it? Huh? In the old times, like the old, old times, for example, in China, the kings were spiritual persons, spiritual masters, like King Yao, Shun, they were masters. And they took care of the people, just like their own children. And the people at that time, they didn't even need to lock the door. They didn't pay taxes. 
to the king. They didn't need to do anything for the king at all. That's the way it should be. Because nowadays, if we have some uh, leader, then we have to pay taxes to keep them. It's fine. It's okay because they need to survive also. They need to live because they don't do anything else. So it's okay. Yeah. But they should have a more clear head, more concern for their own health and their own strength before they can lead other people. Huh? But one country like Saudi Arabia, I think it's a very good example because that country, the king, banned the smoking and alcohol. I think also probably because the religion. Yeah, yeah. The Muslim, Muslim country. country is so yeah. rich, it's like the richest country in the world. Yeah. And they don't have to pay taxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many Arabian countries are like that. I don't know much about Arabian countries, but in some Muslim country and Arabian country, I know that they not allow alcohol at all, and there cannot be anything worse. Cannot be bad. Cannot be bad at all. It's just that some Muslim people are extremists, you know, fanatics, and they really make a bad name for the Muslim people. But it's only small percentage, you know. The rest of the Muslim people, they are good. They help each other, you know. Like I told you one time, I went to Malaysia to lecture, and I saw the government build houses there for free for the people. Malaysia, huh? the Muslim government. That's a good, very tolerant country. You could also go there and lecture, but you have to say no Muslims. Say only for non-Muslims. <laughs> but some of them sneak in and listen also, of course. <laughs> of course, but what I mean is at least they tell you, okay, you can go, but you don't preach to our people because they worry. Yeah, because their society is non-drinking, non-smoking, non-drugging. And maybe you you come in and you preach something else and you're tolerant. Because many groups don't go there to teach good things. So they can't just trust anybody. They let you preach what you want, but to non-Muslims. And that's okay also. I understand that. They don't forbid you in Malaysia. And houses from the government, free for the poor people. And I heard that in Malaysia, if you borrow money and you can't return it, then okay, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't sue you, but don't go over there and do that. <laughs> I'm blacking my name and our groups. <laughs> you know already, huh? We don't take what doesn't belong to us. So in a way, we are very Muslim, and you know, the Muslims should also feel good about us. We are good. No alcohol, no smoking, no drugs, and no stealing, just like the Muslim people. In Arab, in Muslim countries, you steal and they cut you, they cut your hand off. No buts about it. That's why there's less crime. I don't say that there are no extremes. There are some extreme cases, like when a husband treats a wife not good, but that's everywhere. Every country has some bad apples <laughs> somewhere, you know? Just like some Muslim people, they do some terrorist attacks and make the whole Muslim world feel very bad. But there are millions and millions of Muslim people. It's only the small group that does that, but it's bad. So it's very difficult for people to understand the good that they're doing. And because the world is drinking and smoking, they don't think much of the good things of the Muslim people. Why they don't drink, they don't smoke, why they may think even, oh, it's so daft, you know. But like that, they don't have accidents so much. They don't have car accidents. They don't kill each other because of drunkenness. They don't do silly things because of being drunk, you know. But bad people, we have everywhere, of course. It's not just in the Muslim world, eh? They don't eat the pork. They don't eat pork, <laughs> but they eat all the animal and people meat, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But they need the fun one. Like American, they kill and all animals, but the Muslims, they don't kill pig. They don't kill pig people. <laughs> Good luck for the pig people. The reason is that they live in an Arab country a long time ago, and the pig people are always, you know, living in the dirt, and it doesn't look like a very clean animal person and it easily breeds diseases. So the prophet at that time told people don't eat pork. Yeah. The same with having many wives in Prophet Muhammad's time. Many young able men have to fight to defend the group. At that time they would have been harassed, you know, of course, <laughs> like any master. Any new revival of the old teachings has been opposed since time immemorial. So, of course, they have to practice and defend. And at the same time, they didn't go out and kill. But if people came, they had to defend. And in the defense, maybe they also kill somebody. By the way, they were self-defense, you understand? Yeah, it's not necessary that they wanted to kill people at that time. But in self-defense, sometimes it happened, yeah? 
So and then they say that whoever dies, you know, is killed because of protecting their religion, then they go to heaven. And that is of course like that. Yeah? But they did not intend to kill. The Quran never tells anyone to kill anybody anyway, you know? For example, like that. And now some extremist people use that because of ignorance. They use that to go and kill and blast themselves and blast everybody else, kill everyone else that's nearby. You understand me? Because of misunderstanding of the Prophet's teaching. Yeah? Okay, that's one thing. And of course, all the young and able fathers have to defend. And in the act of defending and protecting their group, they died. They died. So the widows of your brothers were taken care of by the ones still alive. So you take as many widows as you can support, and you have to give them equal things. That's the Muslim law. If you take four wives, you have to give all four wives the same things. I mean, similar things, not like one has more and the other has less. Only then can you take four wives. That was because at that time they had to defend themselves and had to hide away, had to run many times. Yeah? So many men died. And of course, as a surviving brother, you had to take in their widows and their children and take care of them just like your own wife. Not like you go sleep with them or anything. It wasn't like that. Do you understand me? It might be possible with arrangement with each other, brother and sister, if you agree like that. Maybe in some rare cases it might happen. But it's not the case like that, because even the Prophet himself, when he took a second wife by her, he had to ask permission from his wife even, and his wife was okay with that. It might not be even a sexual relationship. It might be, but then still have an agreement. So that's why the many wives begin. And now the Muslims continue to have wives for no reason. Many wives. Not all Muslims do that, but some take advantage of this teaching just to enjoy. So it's not like the Muslim religion is bad, telling people to have many wives or to kill others so they can go to heaven. It's not that. It's a purely big-time misunderstanding. Big, big, big time. Russia, go home, now. Food affects the mind. For the practice of any kind of yoga, vegetarianism is absolutely necessary since it makes the mind more sattvic, pure and harmonious. Bhagavan Sri Ramana Maharshi, Vegetarian Radan ala barnamij bain al-muallima wa al Okay, so you have to first cultivate yourself, means make yourself wise. By what? Meditation, discipline. And you can only do that when you're clear, and your body is well. If you're not well, how do you think well? And alcohol makes you worse. Alcohol doesn't make you well. Alcohol and cigarettes make you sick. Everybody knows that. And why are you going to damage yourself when you want to lead the nation? So you have to be disciplined, of course, eh? and meditate, to calm yourself down, to find the wisdom that is inside you. So cultivate yourself. That's it. مشاهدين جديرين بالثناء نشكر حضوركم حلقة اليوم بعنوان الوعي على الصحوة الروحية الجزء 11 من 14 ضمن سلسلة بين المعلمة والتلاميذ. فابقوا معنا على سوبريم ماستر تي في للمزيد من البرامج الإيجابية. عسى أن نرتقي جميعا. لمستوى أعلى من الوعي في كنف النعمة الإلهية. Commendable viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Awakening to Spiritual Awareness, Part 12 of 14, and Between Master and Disciples. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May we all be uplifted to a higher level of consciousness in Divine Grace. 
peace for Ukraine or Ukraine. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds. Hell, not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com/schedule and suprememastertv.com/bmd.